Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Midnight Poppy Land and I do try to act out the characters and voice act them and react to my read. So if that's something up your alley. Definitely continue watching. I do have the blur 50% of each episode because these are posted public on my YouTube channel. But if you guys do want to read along, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone who don't want to deal with the censorship and want to support me, I do have all these reads on my private channel, which is on patreon.com slash CKT chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Ooh. The sound of the cicadas. Uh, I used to lie awake at night just listening to the cicadas, but I haven't heard this since I moved to the city three months ago. I've missed it. Uh, how many pages did I leave behind when I ran out of the forest? One page missing, but it's the most important one. Crap. Looks like I have to recreate it from memory, but can I? If I get back to the office now, I can still squeeze in a couple hours of work. Uh, um, uh? Huh. Was it just my imagination? The last train to Naran City has arrived. All passengers, please aboard. The summer sun is warm on my skin, but... The air felt really cold when this person walked by. Hey, move it. You're in the way. Uh, I'm sorry. Babe, there's still time left to board. Don't be rude. I can't help it. These countryside people move so slowly. I can't wait to get back to the city. Oops, I got distracted. Whatever. Hey, I want the seat near the bathroom. It's more crowded than usual. Everyone's returning from their vacation. The scenery is great, so couples and families come here a lot in the summer and winter. Good things it's still empty at the back here. I'm exhausted from today. So ready to crash now. Left something behind? Uh, huh? Uh, it's that guy from the platform. I don't think so. At least nothing that you should know of. I feel like I shouldn't be talking to him, but... His gaze is so intense. I can't break away from it. What are you doing, Pops? Just turn around and head to the another cabin. I'm sorry, I think you got the wrong person. I didn't want to give up my pastry chef dream, but I couldn't see that it was ruining my life. I was dead broke. My wife had left me. And my family wanted nothing to do with me. Uh oh? Touching interview. How long did it take you? Looks like hours of work to me. Oh, uh, my research paper! Oh. Huh? Oh no. Shh, snap. Oh, I totally forgot this scene. Oh. Oh. You Did you hear that scream? Yeah, what the heck's going on back there? Train is departing. Final call for all passengers to board. M miss are you okay? I-I'm fine, but did you see him? That tall guy with the long black hair. The guy who threw the jacket at you? I, I was sitting up front, but I caught a glimpse of him. He got off the train right before the door closed. Did he attack you? He looks dangerous. You should go to the cops if you did. He, he didn't attack me, but... Uh? It's empty. Oh. <sighs> what the hell just happened back there? Sh oh. Why is he focusing on that? Shit. Uh-uh. Run a background check on her. That's the best shot I could get. 
most likely living in an iron city, if it's narrowed down to the scope. Well, boss, where did you find the cutie? Cutie? Really? Cute face, in a way. But where's the rest of her body? Just in case, you know. Kidding, I'm just kidding. Don't beat me up. Last thing it did, I couldn't leave the hospital for two weeks. I can see that vein in your forehead popping. Not a good look in front of a girl, boss. <laughs> I need to find out what's her connection with Goliath. Cut the crap or I'll break your other legs when I get back. He broke the leg? Which one? Nosy son of a bitch. Hey, hey, I'm on it. Oh, wow, our vacay plants are looking up already. Mm, nice back, very promising. No way, he's super cute and tall. Looks pretty loaded, too. OMG, are those gang tattoos? I've never seen one this close before. How thrilling. The hell are those two talking about? So fucking noisy. What? You want my number? That was easier than I thought. He was all brawn and no brains, just the way I like my men. Don't be mean. Look at us. Who could resist? I bet he, he can get. We can get him to foot all our bills too. That reminds me, I better call him up. We'll have to a day to kill in this town. Get him to come up to our room first. He might be interested in some of the toys we brought. <laughs> Hey, Tora, it's me. We met outside the train station, remember? Anyway, what time are you coming to pick us up? Huh? The sa 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 sausages? <laughs> I see his tricks now. <sighs> Nothing personal, sweetheart. I'll see you in the city. Meanwhile, as elsewhere. Hey, you old geezer, who the hell did you say you step on this time? What are you talking about? We've been getting prank calls from these young ladies all asking for Torah. Who the hell is Torah? <laughs> Warning, this episode contains scenes with graphic violence. You guys been warned? Your registration is all done, Miss Will. Great, thank you. I'll walk you to the interview area. Uh, they'll call for you soon. Interview area? I feel nervous, like I'm the one who's committed a crime. <laughs> Being at a police station does that to people, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? There's a scent I've been smelling in, in here too. That's odd. This is the interview holding area. Ugh. Our department branch here is pretty old and cramped, so the suspects and victims are interviewed in the same area. Sorry about that. We pitch for an upgrade. Fingers crossed we'll get, so get one soon. Uh, I understand. It's okay. Now that I think about it. Thanks for showing me around the apartment, uh, Miss Haru. Three months ago. Oh, most certainly, my dear. Have a cookie. Oh, yes, please. Oh, Poppy, just one last thing I should tell you, since you're new to the Narn City. It's generally quite safe around here, as long as you stay away from certain areas like Airy Street. It's called Airy Street, but it is a huge district over one run by gangsters and controlled by some very bad people. Cling. I heard that several months back, a huge party was thrown there, some big shot gangster's birthday by a bash. Thousands of gangsters were gathered for the celebration, and the entire district was chaos. And because of that, Naran City authorities had to deploy hundreds of heavy armed police officers. They keep these things under wraps, but everyone knows who lives here knows. Gosh, um, that sounds pretty terrifying, and it's all kept under wraps. Oh, no wonder none of that came up in the internet. 
Oh dear my. Oh dear me. I'm a dreadful old lady. I really not nothing. It's really nothing too terrible. Don't let me scare you off. Besides, not when I finally found a tenant for the godforsaken apartment. Don't worry, Miss Haru. I'll stay away from that area. Thanks for letting me you know. It's getting late. I'll try to finish unpacking by tonight. <laughs> the rest of Narn City is a delightful place. I'm sure you'll love it here, like we do. And that was what my landlady told me when I first moved to the city. I kind of just brushed it aside. After all, I've always wanted to move here. It's the largest metropolitan city in our country, filled with job opportunities and business prospect. Basically, it's every college graduate dreams to live and work here. Uh, I shouldn't stare at them like that. I guess I'll just have to be more careful. Miss Poppy Wilf? Uh, Inspector Lane is ready to see you now. Down the hallway to your left, please. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry. All our crime suspects are under tight supervision. Okay, thanks for your help. Um, how many more victims were are there waiting to be interviewed? Too many. Looks like it's overtime for us again. This place is really old, but seriously, what is this musky scent? I've been catching whiff of it since the train ride. Is a jacket. It's Maybe I could go to the perfume shop to ask around. It smells nice. Actually, it smells like some kind of cologne. Uh. Huh? Oh yeah, totally. Relax, the cops can't do shit with to me without evidence. That hoe has been spreading her legs for everyone, not just me. I got her, right? I got her good. <laughs> I'm disgusting, I know. And I am also smart enough to not get caught. 100% would do it again. I just need to find me another dumb bitch. Yeah, yeah, I'm heading over the, over now. Of course I won't miss this job. That's too fucking grand we're talking about. Someone's here. We'll talk later. Uh, what's with this guy? Yeah, yeah. All the hair at the back of my neck are standing. I'll better get away quick. <laughs> what are you here for, sugar? Bu -bu. Why aren't you talking? Are you scared of me? Shit, shit, shit. Is he some kind of crime suspect too? But the officer said they're all under supervision. God damn it, I'm frozen in place. Uh, I'm here to make a police report. I need to get away from him. Come on, legs, move. Uh, let me through, please. Hey, you. What do you think you're doing? Oopsie. Calm down, officer. We were just chatting. I don't care what you were doing. You were released from your charge and inspect by Inspector Ke Keaton, weren't you? Get out before I have you arrested again. Uh, she tears up so easily. Alrighty, this should be Inspector Lane's room. <laughs> Inspector Lane? Uh, yes, C please, come right in. Hey there, uh, have a seat, Miss Wilkes. A woman, thank goodness, this would have been so embarrassing. She's so pretty. So, your shirt was ripped after you got into an accident, but did this man know this? Was he around when you tore the shirt? Um, he wasn't around when it tore it, when I tore it. So he was unaware that your chest would be exposed when he took that photo of you. Oh, it did occur to me that. The bigger problem, though, is that we don't know who he is. We don't even know if he's from Moonbright or Narn City or anywhere else. All you have is a description of him. But he left me this jacket. Uh, couldn't you do some DNA test or something? Honey, I understand you're upset right now, but we have to remain objective. DNA tests are too costly for such a minor offense. You could be get a lawyer to sue, but that would cost more than what it's worth. I can't possibly afford a lawyer. Uh, are you dismissing my case? I'm not dismissing your case. I'll look into it. As soon as I'm done with the all of these other cases, assault, burglary, murder, you name it, we have it. 
Uh, well, thanks for your time, Inspector Lane. I'll get going now. Get some rest, Miss Wilkes. You had a long day. <sighs> that jacket, she said, it belongs to this man. Why does it look so familiar? I swear I've seen it from somewhere before. This report from an informant a few months back. Oh, subject, Crime Lord Vincent Baltiman, 50th birthday party at Airy Street, congregation of over 2,000 gang members. What did he look like? Um, well, he's tall and kind of big, and he's got long black hair with these striking amber eyes. Oh, well, shit. Of all people to cross paths with, it looks like I might need to bump up the priority of this case after all. But the keys with you. Got the keys with you? And my jacket? Of course I do. If we mess up, we won't get paid. That's uh, two weeks worth of crack. What took you so long at the station? Saw some chick there. Real innocent looking. Too bad a cop got in my way. Would have had her in, my in minutes. Ugh, you sick bastard. Focus on the job, man. Relax, this hood's a shithole. Nobody's gonna get in our way. Just get into Goliath's house and find the notebook and get the hell out. Besides, no one else lives knows he lives here. It's some secret hideout or some shit. Hold it. S something doesn't feel right in here. The hell are you talking about? Don't be a fucking pussy. Just find the notebook and go. Man, I've got a chill on my bones. What the hell is this feeling? You sure no one else knows about this place? Look, we need to leave now. Where the fuck is, uh, where's my fucking torch? I can't see shit in here. Leave? What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, why leave so soon? Jesus fuck. Stick around for a bit. Wait a fucking minute. Who the hell are you? I, wa I wanna know just who the fuck sent you here? Oh, 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 he's a total badass. Like, he doesn't ever hesitate to, like, hurt someone, you know? Holy cow, I would flip if someone just pops out, like, whoop, you know, what do you want? I didn't work on my husky, like, manly voice, because I don't really have it right now. But, mm. <laughs> Torah! Alright, guys, if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!